are you single at this point? At this point right now, yes, I'm single. Okay, when it comes to people you have been in a relationship with in the past, what occupations did they hold? Any that I ever fucked with in the past, they really just been some rich niggas. Like, it don't really matter. Like, I mean, it do matter what they do, but like, you know, just rich, really. That That's a, the biggest thing, is be rich. Let's get specific a little bit. I'm gonna throw out some occupations. You tell me if you've been in a relationship with any of these in the past, okay? Good question. Okay. A lawyer. No. A doctor. Yes. Specifically what kind? I, I've been in a relationship with a plastic surgeon. Okay. Recording artist. Relationship? <laughs> you was the side chick, Bubba. You was the side chick with the jump off. What are the two? Relationship? Yes, the rappers love me and I love the rappers. <laughs> Has it always just been rappers in your past or maybe a singer as well? I don't have some, some singing niggas, but they, they too emotional. I can't do the singing niggas, so. Okay. Well, I can do the singing niggas just in case one of y'all be out there. I want y'all to get y'all feelings. The singing niggas, if you gonna woo me, I guess, come on with me. <laughs> but, She's for the streets. She's leaving her options open. So all you singing ninjas, go ahead. You could, you could try it, but she don't generally want you. Let's keep going. Just in your history, your past relationship history, have you been with no, a singer? I've never been with a singer. Okay. Just rappers? Just rappers. Okay. What oh my God. Ask? Athlete, yes. Of course. NFL, okay. Yes. Just NFL, no NBA, no other no, sport? No, I ain't got to the NBA yet. Okay. An actor. <laughs> no actors. Yet. Whoa. Okay. Uh, a model. No models. Okay. And my final one is an She's influencer. She's a man eater. Yes, an influencer for sure. TikToker, uh -oh. YouTuber, only YouTuber? Fans, what kind of influencing? Oh, uh, yeah, TikTok and YouTube. Okay. All right. Now, any other over here, mama. I left out that you've been with in the past? Something more specific. I know you said rich originally to the question, but anything more specific, like I, I had to- I'm able to feed trappers. Okay. Now, of out course. of all the different occupations <laughs> I've mentioned, which has been the this longest relationship you've been in? Mm, with my influencer. Okay. And which one was that specifically? I'll was say YouTube. person on TikTok and YouTube or one or the other? Um, YouTube. Okay. God and how damn long it! That lasted for like a year. How far did it get? He was my boyfriend. Any deal with me he my boyfriend ain't no we're not doing nothing we, oh. he my boyfriend but it never got farther than boyfriend never got no to no it. never okay all right was it even talked about <laughs> no it wasn't talked about i don't mm -mm. okay now this relationship lasted for a year and it sounds she's crazy how you've been describing these questions and navigating through them sounds like he broke up with you yes okay what was the reason <laughs> he broke up with me because i'm a hoe you cheated on him <laughs> i didn't cheat on him i did not cheat on him but like, I guess I'm a hoe because like I have groupy behavior, and I but like okay, see I, I have a, I have flirty behavior. I, you know what? I can't be mad at you, mama. <laughs> like, at first I was upset that it was a YouTuber because I feel like that's my elk right there. But then you said no, we didn't have a conversation about being in a relationship, so he never claimed you. So you were yet again another butt. So he knew exactly what you were in. Therefore, but truth be told, I just love the honesty. She says she, she knows she's a hoe. She 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 knows it. Okay, she just admitted it to you. I, you know, I got no problem with hoes that just know that they hoes. I got no problem with you. You you're a hoe. If I want a hoe, then come over here, right? <laughs> if, if I want to expose myself to what you've done to your body in the past, right? If I want the high risky lifestyle, the thing is, is like. If I, if you know what this is, if I know what this is, this actually could be a fun thing, right? If I just feel like wasting time because there's no type of, this is only short-term shit. She's a short-term girl, but it's just sad because like, she she's not thinking one hand in front of the other, right? Like, like this is going to end as soon as she hits the wall. But, and then what? What's your options then, madame? Let's keep going. So, I guess me being a flirt also equals to being a hoe. Well, I like to be around a rich and a yes. bitch and a yeah. popular like, I like to be out and about. That's a hoe. I guess in everybody's face or whatever you want to say, but I don't care. You can't save her. She don't want to be saved. Can't save her. <laughs> Look, she's addicted to the money, the power, the clout, the status, and that is it. There is no cap to her body count. And I guarantee you, if she meets another dude that has more than you, she's on to the next one. Guys, let's talk it in girls and first impressions. Now, when you walk up to a woman and you're trying to get her number, what's the first thing that she's going to recognize? Now, let me ask you guys, 
do you have a quality skincare routine to maximize what it is that they see? My secret to not only looking youthful at 37 years old, but also to enhancing my confidence is today's sponsor, Teach Hanley. Fellas, listen to me, invest into your skin. Stop using normal soap on your face. Every grown man should have a quality skincare routine, and Tiege Hanley is that quality. I recommend that you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, an AM moisturizer with SPF 20, and a PM moisturizer. And Tiege Hanley has made it super simple by giving you an instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. Skincare wasn't always something that I took seriously, but now that I invest into my skin, it gives me the confidence to pull young baddies. And you don't even have to just take my word for it because they have 5,000 five-star reviews from satisfied customers all around the globe. And because Tease Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my subscribers a special deal. Just click the first link in the description and receive 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. Seriously, that's an amazing deal. Click that link down below and get started right now. Alright, it's time for you to head upstairs, take a shower, and get ready to eat some I don't want you no Did I ask you what the you wanted to do? No, I did not. What? Now go upstairs, take a shower, and get ready to eat some Like the fuck I said. What is wrong with these Yo, imagine if the roles were reversed. Imagine if I did this to a young lady. Modern women say that they want leaders in their life, but y'all also seem to get off on demeaning men. Pick a side. And for the young brother that sat down to do this video, I guess his name is Al. Dudes like you, or should I say simps like you, are the reason that our image is completely in the trash. How dare you take time out of your day to be disrespected for the gram? for social media, and for what? You're sacrificing your masculinity and your manhood in order to become IG famous? For real, my G, that's where you at? This to me is a new definition of down bad. And I bet you it's not even his Instagram, I bet you it's hers, of course, because the women's shit, they all get off on the idea that we can disrespect men. Sad times. <laughs> I hate those voices. He was not having it. You gotta act like you've been here before. Wow. Yeah. Hey, yo, I can't take some of y'all nowhere, all right? But I think the lesson within this is that others won't respect your things as much as you will respect your things. Just as much as a woman will not respect your hard-earned money as much as you respect what it took to make that hard-earned money. Just keep that in mind when you guys are doing things like, you know, buying bottles and tables in the club and spending your hard-earned money in order to impress chicks or you simp sucker dudes that are sending cash apps to these IG models online. They don't respect you because you do that. Because while the Instagram fabricators are over here flexing in boats that are not theirs for women, that are for the streets, those same women will reject nuclear physicists because he's too corny. Uh, yeah, so actually I'm a nuclear physicist for the Navy. Damn. So I, I'll do that in a few in a few days. Oh, okay, nice. Well, best of luck as you ship out pineapples. Damn. Why? I need a man with some personality. Hello? Hi. Hi. How are you, Kendra? Good. What's your name, babe? I'm Donovan Phipps. I am calling from Evansville, Indiana. Evansville, Indiana? I'm about to sit down right now, yes. Sorry. How old are you? I'm 29. 29? Do you have any kids? I don't. No kids? What do you do for a living, Donovan? I am a multimedia consultant. Multimedia consultant. All right, when's your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. The fact that one of Kendra's opening lines that she asks everybody uh, within her dating show is regarding astrological signs proves to me that so many of the women that watch shows like this 
just want to outsource their relationship matters to the stars, right? Because why does it matter so much? It, it shouldn't. When you come out of a vagina, sh shouldn't determine your personality. No, your nature and nurture, your genetics, plus what you're exposed to in your life determines who you are as a person, how you think. How you but see, there's so many women that just live in the clouds. They just live on a goddamn root rising sun serpent moon and all types of shit like this. Oh, when, when is your star circle sign? Oh, really? Oh, God, you were born at 8.59 p.m.? Oh, 27 and a half years ago? Oh, the moon was positioned here, so therefore you have this personality. Let me read this shit every morning to see what you want today. Oh, shut up! Work on yourself. How about that? Instead of making shit up. No wonder we're in a state of relationship disarray. That's what you believe in? Oh, God. Um, I do prepare Christian woman, uh, but uh, I'm open to anyone, uh, to any woman. So you brought up race. Have you ever dated women other than black women? I have. Okay. So that's why you say you're open to all, all races. Yes. Okay. All right. In, uh, in the time that we live in, I have to make sure that's clear too, because we have a lot of racism going on and prejudice going on. So I'd like to make sure I'm clearly represented. Uh, Everyone's clearly represented in this conversation. Ooh. So the question is, what? That was a very soy answer, my G. If you got a preference, then say you got a preference. It's okay. Just because you have a preference doesn't mean that you're president. Okay. There's some deal breakers for you. Okay. Um, I so it. I do want a woman that carries herself like myself, um, but I do uh, cool. value respect. If I and I value respect because. It's my upbringing. So um, I want to always respect sure. myself, but I also want a woman to respect herself as well. Okay. You always want to respect yourself, but you want a woman to respect herself as yep. well. Okay. Um, <laughs> does she have kids? Uh, I don't mind. Okay. Do you want kids? I do. Okay. You don't have kids? I like this. Uh, I'm not for sure how to word this. And I want to be straightforward, but not to be offensive. Um, Sometimes when it comes to stepkids, there are uh, there are different standards and boundaries you don't want to cross as a stepfather sure. or another man in a relationship. And so I always like to respect another man's rights to their child, uh, as well as uh, respect the um, the um, the rules that parents have when there are other kids involved in a relationship. I'm a little bit confused here to, to tell you the truth, guys. He's 29 years old, right? Seems like he got a good job, multimedia. He looks like a tall dude. I don't understand why he's okay with being a stepfather at 29. It, you know, let's just keep listening. It, right. That makes right. sense. Co parenting situation. No, it makes a lot of sense. I bring this up often when I ask women with kids because men like yourself who are, I, who comes across very respectable and I think is a good man. That yeah. is a question that they ask when raising somebody else's kids, the rules of engagement of that house. So I'm actually happy that you brought that up, Donovan. Um, mm -hmm. Are you waiting for marriage to have sex? I would rather wait uh, till marriage to have sex. Is yes. that religious? Well, let me jump off in that question. You don't have to answer this question. But when's the last time you was intimate with a woman? Uh -oh. uh, Intrusive, um, but good question. I would say uh, when, when I'm saying I would wait, to have uh, sex before marriage, I was, I wouldn't consider intimate uh, because, and I guess, you uh, what is your defining terminology of intimacy? When's the last time you put your penis inside of a vagina? <laughs> never, never. Okay. Oh! So you're a virgin? Yes. Okay. So when you were dating in the past, you were just dating uh, to get to know women? Yes. Okay. okay. So are you holding on to your virginity until your wedding night? Yes. Okay. It took me a while to really get what was happening uh, within that conversation. But I th actually think a brother like that would really benefit from listening to this portion of uh, the Internet, because I think as it exists right now, he may be ill prepared to deal with the modern day dating market today. He'll be called lame, a nerd, a geek, nice guy. He'll be called all of those different things until he works on key components of his 
masculinity. It really doesn't have nothing to do with him being a virgin. I think more so I'm connecting him being a virgin, but then willing to accept another young lady that has pre-made kids already. There's something too much of a uh, nice guy. You gotta understand these modern women today will take advantage of you if you allow them to. Straight up, there's vultures out here, my guy, right? And I don't want you stepping in the booby traps. But spaces like this is the booby trap free zone. You understand what I'm saying, my G? Consider me your defensive coordinator. But if birth control didn't exist and feminism never happened, a guy like this back in the olden days would have had a very, very fair chance. Either get a fair dose of pookie up into your game or go get your passport. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Mediocre tours and reviews at gmail.com. Did you guys enjoy the compilation? Leave me some comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, YouTube.